A blow to the head killed the man whose body was found stuffed in a kitchen cabinet in a vacant Corning home. The cause revealed today at hearings for two men accused of murder. Good evening, I'm Renata Steele. I'm Scott Kirk. Thanks for choosing WEMY News at 530. Police found that body of the 28-year-old man hidden inside a vacant mansion in Corning this weekend. Today, more details revealed at the hearing of the men accused in the killing. WENY's Tanja Reiki was in the courtroom and joins us now with the latest on the investigation. Tanja. We're not in Scott. Both 20-year-old Ryan Morrow of Corning and 23-year-old Jacob Horn of Painted Post pleaded, pleaded not guilty to second-degree murder. However, police have reason to believe they worked together to kill Philip Loff. The investigation started Friday night with a call about an open door. The police department has I'm been sorry. there probably a dozen times since 2011 and addressed issues such as vandalism and trespassing. It had become a focal point for area teens to go there and, and hang out and engage in different activity. But when police returned on Saturday, the investigation took a turn. They found the body of Philip Loth hidden in a large kitchen cupboard. The preliminary reports from the medical examiner in Rochester are that he died from blunt force trauma to the head. We don't have any idea yet was as far as a weapon uh, and a number of wounds. Obviously, that's a preliminary report. A full autopsy will be available within a few weeks. Today, both suspects, Jacob Horn and Ryan Morrow, are behind bars. However, neighbors still have concerns about the house in this upscale neighborhood. To have this kind of news is very alarming and upsetting. Not what we're used to around here, and it's not what people moved into this neighborhood uh, to see and to live with. The investigation has been concluded with the arrest of two individuals. Uh, it's believed that they're the only two individuals that were involved in, in, the, in the actual commission of the crime. Um, and those people are, are secured at the Subban County Jail. Both men returned to court this afternoon with appointed lawyers and are both awaiting action by a grand jury. And police are still investigating and continuing to follow leads. If you have information that would help, you can call State Police at Painted Post at 962-6864. Tanja Reiki, WENY News.